South Africa has made a new application to the International Court of Justice, or the ICJ, asking it to prevent famine in the Gaza Strip. South Africa is seeking an emergency order to compel Israel to allow more aid into the territory, warning that Palestinians in Gaza are facing starvation. Israel has launched an offensive in Gaza to root out Hamas militants following the terror attacks of October the 7th. South Africa has urged the court to order all parties to cease hostilities and release all hostages and detainees. For more on that, our correspondent Diane Hawker joins us from Johannesburg. Diane, good morning. This is the second time South Africa has asked uh, for the court to take measures on the war in Gaza. They got turned down last time. Do they have a better chance of success this time? Well, this time around, the, the focus of the application is somewhat different. With the uh, earlier, the, the late January application, South Africa was focusing on the situation in the area of Rafa, uh, saying that the court should prevent Israel from entering that territory. The court felt that the measures that were already in place were strong enough to deal with any situation that arises there. Now, um, the, the, the application brought by South Africa, it comes after Israel has actually submitted um, the timeline for Israel to submit its report to the International uh, Court of Justice on what it has done uh, to ensure that life I I is, is preserved. And also the focus is different, looking more on the humanitarian aspects um, of aid and, and making sure that aid actually reaches people across um, the, the, the area of Gaza. What exactly is uh, uh, South Africa expecting the court will do this time round? Because last time the court, I think, asked Israel to take preventive action when it came to that genocide case that South Africa had filed. What is South Africa expecting the court will do this time round? Well, South Africa is being more um, explicit, it seems, in its request and saying that there needs to actually be a halt, an immediate halt um, to the conflict in the area. And it's also uh, requesting the release of all hostages, um, which would not only apply, um, you know, to Israel, but it would also apply if the court were to order this uh, to the, the, the Hamas uh, group and any other groups that are holding hostages. Now, South Africa is saying that it believes that Israel hasn't complied with the initial court order, um, and it would obviously have to motivate why it says that. Um, it says that Israel's actions over the period since the initial court order and now do not demonstrate that it has complied with that court order. So, mm. in a way, it wants the court to examine in Israel's actions in this period, as well as to make a further a step by requesting um, or ordering that there should be a halt to the conflict itself. How much support is there in South Africa for the government's efforts at the ICJ? In, in South Africa, I would say there is quite a lot of support. Of course, there are different perspectives uh, from all different walks of life, but we regularly do see protests taking place, usually on a Friday and Saturday, where there are large groups gathering, particularly in the Western Cape, um, where there's a large Muslim community, um, where people are requesting that, um, you know, South Africa should continue this, and also saying that there should be other interventions, not only from South Africa. But when it comes to the international community, um, I think it is important to also note that there have been other countries that have expressed their support. For example, Nicaragua has requested to join the, the broader case um, at the ICJ and right. a number of other countries in uh, the, the Arab League have also expressed their support. Thanks so much for that. Our correspondent Diane Hawker reporting from Johannesburg there.